It has been featured in O Magazine and on the Travel Channel. But tonight, a popular female-owned butcher shop is getting ready to close its doors. Sasa San's owner says that next week, the same week the shop made its day, the, it, it marks a decade in business, will be its last. We've been telling you about their story since at least 2017. So tonight, our Bryn Caswell looks at the reasons behind this decision and what it means for Slavic village neighbors seeing more and more small businesses close. On the corner of Fleet Avenue in East 54th through the pink pig's glow, our cuts were just about everyone. Somebody on the internet made this very tasteless joke about you guys closing or something like that. It's not a joke. The beloved butcher shop Saucy San in Slavic Village is closing its doors next week, just days after it celebrates its 10 year anniversary. It's heartbreaking, you know? It's emotional for owner Melissa Corey, too. She didn't want to speak on camera today so she could spend every last moment with her customers. Just last month, Corey and I spoke about her hopes for Fleet Avenue and the empty storefronts that surround her business. There has to be support, and that's where it seems to be epically failing. In a statement she released Wednesday, Corey said, quote, Over the last year, between stagnant development in the neighborhood, health issues, and decreasing sales, closing was the best decision. I was crushed. It was, it was, it, it, it's, it's a really, really big shame. It's a decision devastating customers. It sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's a shame that they're going to have to move. I mean, just for my being selfish, I had to find somewhere else to get the hearts and stuff like that. And these guys are great. Like uh, Mel and Logan are awesome. Um, so that's really going to be not great for the neighborhood. Ward 12 Cleveland City Councilwoman Rebecca Moore confirms a law firm is moving into the upper part of the building and another storefront to replace Saucy Sun is in the works. Moore says she plans to have five to six more locally owned businesses open between East 50th and 55th Street in the next few years. I am so devastated that they're not going to be there for the next chapter, but I know that we have incredible business owners throughout the city who are going to do some amazing work, and they are always going to be building on the legacy of what Saucy San and Melissa brought us. For a lot of us, food is the way to the heart, making this goodbye even more heartbreaking. Thank you. Appreciate it again. Okay, good luck, guys. Saucy Sun's last day open is December 9th. And for what's next for the owner, Mel, she says she's going to be working for the state of Ohio as a meat inspector. Reporting in Slavic Village, Bryn Caswell, News 5.